Hey, what is up guys? I know it has been a while, but today we are going over things you could have missed in the Animal Crossing September update. So as you can see, this will be September 30th. First off, we pause here, and there's a lot of cool things for us to look at, like new items, like we have the triple stacked pumpkin here, all with different faces. We've got a weird hanging pumpkin with some bats on some sticks. Very cool. As you can see, we've got the triple again, but then we've got one on its own, which means there may be more than one variant. Then, of course, we have the archway. You may see the fence off on the side there, but there's also one in the distance, a slightly different item, but we'll come back to that. But anyway, let's roll the rest of the trailer. And we'll keep pausing as we go to go over anything important. October 31st is Halloween, for those who didn't know. And there it is. There is that scarecrow again. So you can buy this, but the others, as we'll learn, you can see you can buy them from the nooks. But the others, as we will learn, of course, come from learning the recipes. But of course, first you have to gather candy during October. But what's that next to it? We'll, uh, we'll have to come back to that. So there's pumpkins, but wait a minute. Where do you get those? Where do you get the saplings for pumpkins? You know, you can go water them and everything's good. You can get the DIY recipes, but there they are. If you go back to the clip, they're of course in the shop, along with the awesome scarecrow. So you know, plant your pumpkins and life's good. But obviously you've got to protect them with a scarecrow. There's also a couple of things here of note. So we've of course got, I presume, a pumpkin pie, uh, a candy basket, and of course a pumpkin that's lit up. A pumpkin chair, is that? Could be, or a carrot chair, who knows? There's also one over there next to a haystack, which I believe is a new item. But anyway, let's roll it again. And of course, here is the pumpkin scarecrow. A couple of awesome items here. You can get some uh, face paints and skin paints. And then of course, new contact lens colors very cool of course you see the basket and the hay again this time stacked up which obviously shows that they can be stacked up so here it was and there was the basket nice and simple but of course let's carry on halloween night let's see what we can see in this so as you can see there's the stack next to a double pumpkin and of course the scarecrow but you also get to meet jack so he is making an appearance you can give out some of the candy you've bought, but there is a little bit more information that we need to go over about candy and, of course, the costumes. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But of course, it says there's more. There's also Nooklink, which is getting an update and will be available early October. And you can do reactions. Very interesting stuff. But again, another item, the fence. So it was shown in a previous shot, but it does look a bit like a pumpkin as you can see there. Also, Jack's helmet is making a return. Pretty crazy. So we'll have to see how we get that. So of course, there is more coming late November, but let's quickly go to the website they linked and check out what we're missing. Okay, so we are now on the website that they linked and I will, of course, as always, link it down below. It is just an article going over everything we can expect with a little bit more detail than was included in the trailer. Of course, not giving you as much information as I did for some of the items. They're keeping that a secret, but we'll make sure to go in and cover all of the content we can for this game. Also, you're probably going to see this guy in the thumbnail. So if you do, make sure you comment that you know where I got the uh, image from. Or just comment if you're actually going to be playing this update, if you're looking forward to it. Because uh, I know a lot of you guys have stopped playing, so it'd be cool to see if this is what brings you back. And hopefully it does, because I'm very much looking forward to playing this game and hopefully connecting with a few of you guys. So, of course, it goes over a few different things that weren't actually mentioned in the trailer. The first one being that the Nintendo Switch, so the Animal Crossing New Horizons edition, is actually coming back into stock at certain retailers. So, you know, they're doing a second run or potentially getting rid of any stock Nintendo has left over. And that, of course, features the pastel green and blue Joy-Con controllers and the white dock with images of Tom and the Nooklings. I did get my sister one of these. I didn't get myself one, unfortunately. But I did love the uh, the white Nintendo Switch dock. It's just a shame it had uh, Tom, Timmy and Tommy on it. Real shame there. But of course, 
The next bit, it goes on to say, For players that have yet to create their personal island paradise in Animal Crossing New Horizons, now is a great time to get started. Which, I mean, it definitely is. So if you are watching this wondering, should I get it because of this update? You probably should. And another thing that was mentioned, not in the trailer, but here and on Twitter. In November, Animal Crossing Amiibo Card Series 1 to 4 will be returning to select retailers at suggested retail price of $6 per pack, or of course, $5.99. But that will be about four or five pounds in the UK. If you don't live in the uh, UK or US, like many people don't, uh, that of course will be different for you. So, you know, just convert that and hopefully you guys are able to find and afford some. I know it's tough times, but I'm sure all of us are looking forward to opening up a fresh pack of these and not some super expensive eBay scalped ones. But of course, we'll go on to uh, look at the rundown of features. The free update will of course add to the game beginning on September 30th as we went over. So of course, the first one is growing pumpkins. Deck out your home and island for all your awesome autumnal occasions. By first purchasing pumpkins starts in game from leaf year round or from nooks cranny during October. So as I showed in the trailer, the of course the little icon we saw in the shop next to the candy, the uh, second one in is of course the pumpkin starts. But again it says you can visit leaf if you're lucky enough to get him visit you and of course you can get them there. Once these are grown, they can be harvested and put to use in pumpkin-based DIY projects. Very cool. Looking forward to seeing if I've missed anything and what else we can make. Hopefully we saw it all. Normally we're pretty spot on with uh, the trailer to, of course, working out what we get. So hopefully we're right this time. If not, more stuff is always welcome. Of course, pumpkins are just the beginning of the Halloween-themed festivities coming to your island. With the big day just around the corner, you can start stocking up on candy early. Find your style for Halloween night by purchasing costumes, like a major's dress. Yeah, that was the one we saw a couple of different colours of, and that'll of course be in the Able Sisters shop during October. You can even get body paint and coloured eye contacts by exchanging Nook Miles. I did say face and body paint, but of course it'll just be all as one so if you want to go as a green witch you'll of course have to do the whole thing you can't mix and match you know your legs and arms and a different color to your face although that could be like some cool frankenstein costume sadly we can't do that but you will have to exchange nook miles for these it says which is very strange so maybe they'll be available in the abd but we'll have to look and see i'll make sure to cover all of this and more for you guys but let's read on and i'll of course go over everything I hope to be covering soon and explaining a little bit more about what we're going to be doing for this. But let's just read on. You'll also be able to learn Halloween DIY projects with your fellow residents. Always cool, so hopefully in October they actually teach you different things to do with the different Halloween DIY recipes and not just stuff you've previously learnt. So, you know, make sure you talk to them. On Halloween night, however, your neighbours will be getting in the holiday spirit with costumes of their own. Super cool there. So this will, of course, be 5pm local time, and that's, of course, just the time local to you. So no matter where you are in the world, the second it hits October 31st at 5pm, as with all the other updates at set sort of times, you can go ahead and do this. Your neighbours will, of course, be gathered in the plaza, which will be adorned with an array of Halloween decorations many of which we saw, and you'll receive a visit from a mysterious guest. We of course saw that was Jack, and by giving him lollipops and candy, it didn't go over lollipops, so maybe they're just sort of saying lollipops and candy as if they're two different things, but maybe it's just the candy you buy. Who knows, maybe you could shake trees and lollipops will fall out. Although who'd eat a tree lollipop? I probably wouldn't now I think about it. But anyway, you'll earn spooky in-game rewards for giving him these. So be sure to save some for your neighbours though, or you might get pranked. Nobody wants that. And luckily you can learn a couple of new reactions to properly express your feelings of fear, should they prank you. So of course we saw those, and there's uh, two new reactions from what I understand. I've not particularly looked too in-depth at which ones are in that picture. I think it is just the two added, though, from general conversation with people about it. And, of course, we've got 
visiting dreams. So this is something that wasn't mentioned. You guys know about dreams, which was, of course, added. But now you're able to revisit them from a list, making it easier to visit some of your favorite islands. There's been a couple of screenshots about this uh, from, I believe, a Japanese user. Uh, it may not be. I only glanced at it briefly, but it did show them accessing a list. So I don't know whether this was a Nintendo Japan or some other territory just showing it off. Uh, potentially a developer of sorts sharing this information with people. But I'll try and remember to put that on screen now. So that would be super cool for those of you who are working super hard still on your islands. Despite the world sort of going a little bit back to normal. And people being a bit busier with real life. But of course, when you're not too busy to play Animal Crossing. The Nooklink service in the Nintendo Switch Online smartphone app is also receiving an update in early October. With the update you'll be able to use your smart device to perform reactions in the game. We've of course got the uh, triple asterisk up here for the dreams one and the four here just basically saying you need Nintendo Switch Online and of course you'll need the latest software update for the game and of course have the game connected to the internet but that makes a lot of sense that's totally fine I'm sure you guys won't be too annoyed about that and of course when you do get these reactions on the uh, Nook Link service why not try them on this occasion to let your island visitors know exactly how you feel about their mischievous tricks and treats. Talking of tricks and treats though, to wrap this up guys, I do actually have a second channel, which a lot of you guys, well, a few of you guys may have known about if you are on the Discord, and I will be posting long form content. Of course, I know I've been away for a couple of weeks, uh, and I've had a video taken down, the Amiibo card one, funnily enough. Of course, that may be due to the news we've just learned about the Series 1 to 4 cards coming back. But I know a lot of you guys subscribe from that. So if you are watching this because of that video initially, thank you so much for sticking around. But like I said, I've got a second channel. I'm going to be streaming over on Twitch a lot more. Got a lot of stuff in the works. A few other projects which I can't mention just yet. We've of course also got the Rune Frog t-shirt both on Amazon UK and US which was of course a homage to Animal Crossing in its peak when everyone was absolutely loving the game and just spending the whole day on it, myself included. We of course adopted Poggers to Froggers for the uh, Frog Island and the various villager hunts and Camo Frog being my favourite. So make sure you check that out. I do also have two Instagram accounts now, so I've got Rayroon and Ray.Lay and that will of course be for my photography and other stuff. I probably won't have posted by the time this video goes up, but I've of course got access to those. They were old accounts that I've now rebranded into these ones. So make sure you give that a follow. And I've of course got a secondary Twitter, which was the Animal Crossing account, but it's now gonna be a more backup update sort of focused account. So make sure you check that out. But I will have a more in-depth video explaining absolutely everything that is gonna be changing coming out within the next week maybe October 1st, just after this update. But of course, I didn't want to leave you guys high and dry seeing this update and of course not having me cover it and going over all the amazing stuff we're going to be getting. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for more Animal Crossing content, especially covering these next two updates, so the September and the November ones. As always, I'll have the most up-to-date videos on it and hopefully get them out as soon as I have all of the information and everything you guys are possibly going to need. But like I said, that is it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Until next time, peace out, take care, and as always, stay safe.